Welcome to Policy on Demand's Week in Review. I'm Andrew Pryor. The U.S. Treasury Department this week announced that the United States and Taiwan will begin negotiations on a comprehensive agreement to address double taxation issues, with the first round of negotiations expected to take place in the coming weeks. This action is intended to promote U.S. semiconductor manufacturing and production by eliminating double taxation for businesses engaged in cross-border activities between the United States and Taiwan. There could be an opportunity to address Taiwan double tax relief legislation during a post-election lame duck session of Congress. However, the chief GOP tax writers in the House and the Senate criticized the Treasury announcement, saying it could jeopardize the pending legislation. This week also was filled with questions about the presidential and congressional elections and how the outcome might impact the 2025 tax debate. Republicans seem well positioned to gain control of the Senate, making a Democratic sweep scenario unlikely. Narrow majorities are likely in both the House and the Senate, which may impose constraints on any new administration, even under a Republican sweep scenario. Continued divided government will require bipartisan consensus, which may be difficult to achieve. Bottom line, the presidential race and control of the House remain too close to call, and the outcome may not be known right away. But no matter the election outcome, we expect 2025 to be a year for major tax legislation because of bipartisan interest in averting across the board tax increases from the scheduled expiration of TCJA individual provisions. U.S. fiscal concerns could affect 2025 tax policy action, and businesses could face the risk of higher taxes, regardless of who wins the White House in control of Congress. Looking ahead to the coming week, all attention will be focused on the presidential and congressional elections on Tuesday. Remain focused on scenario planning and prepare to communicate with internal and external stakeholders about the potential implications on tax. And always important, continue engaging with policymakers on your tax policy priorities to help them understand the potential effect of tax policy decisions on business and the economy. Finally, we'll have continuing analysis of the election next week, beginning with Monday briefing and a new episode of Election Watch. There's a lot of ground to cover, sometimes minute by minute, and you won't want to miss these conversations. 